Hello, I'm Joel van der Molen, the co-founder of Vandercom, of uh, Yeton Alexander and Living My Illusion. What I would like to share is, you know, something that truly surprised me this time around and I, the coaching journey that I've been on is truly remarkable, phenomenal and transformational. Everything that I've, I've done and every, every time you get that kind of, you know, amazing uh, I awakening to who you truly are and for the past 10 days what I have done is I just completely stopped um, I hit a certain point where I just thought right that's it enough is enough I'm gonna do what I've been told I'm gonna do what Tony has been saying to me that I you know should be uh, doing which is doing the work, doing the personal development work on me. And I've been thinking, oh my God, I've got so long, I've got business to do, um, I've got so many other things to do, so many of those daily tasks that always get in the way from actually me getting down and doing it. And I just hit that point and I thought, right, that's it, I'm gonna do it. Um, he gave me one exercise going through the method, the TJS Evolutionary Method, the 25 uh, pillars, the five uh, main pillars, and then they all have subcomponents, four subcomponents. Um, and it's in the second half of the book of A Path to Wisdom, which I did the audio book for. I had to do the audio book because I just thought it was incredible. It blew my mind away. So what I did was um, I uh, started doing this exercise from the 26th of November up until today. Well, today's the 6th of December. It's a very special day. It happens to be my birthday as well. But, you know, it's also a very special day for other people around the world. It's St. Nicholas Day. Um, so I went through the method and I can't remember the page that the picture is on. But maybe I'll just find it. No, TJS Evolutionary Method. So what I was doing was going through that. Every single day I would do that, and I thought I'm going to finish it by the sixth of um, uh, the sixth of December. This exercise, which is the benefits and the drawbacks of being worthy of love, and going through all of the 25 pillars: awareness, awakening, attention. Um, but the actual five pillars is acknowledgement, um, loving, acknowledge, love, achievement, results, and miracles. And then there is four subcomponents of each one. And it was working through every single one to help me with this exercise, and I got to the end of it, 10 in each. And what was slowly happening to me was I was just feeling incredible when I was doing it because it was just the work that I loved to do. It was helping me in such a way to get to know me, to get to understand the kind of perceptions I have about things, um, to get to know myself, um, looking past and through my fears, um, not living in my past, believing I'm that person I created based on my past. Um, and it was completely releasing the need to control other people and situations that I'm in. I mean, this is seriously powerful stuff when you do it, because talking about it is one thing and I could talk, but actually going in, into it and doing it, it just completely transformed me. This 10 days has been absolutely wonderful. Um, and I've also been doing meditation, uh, doing 20 minutes morning, 20 minutes, evening, as well as Tony's meditations, uh, the Open Your Heart meditation, I think it's the most popular meditation, not one I recorded, but um, it's, you know, and that is just all contributing to the ideas I am getting. I'm much clearer in, think in thinking, in focus. It's truly uh, mind-blowing. I mean, I'm excited now, even as, I, even as I talk about it. It's something I love to talk about. I love to I love to be able to promote it and I love the fact that I recorded this last year um, so you know I guess what I'm why I'm sharing this is because there is uh, the breakthroughs that you know we we can all enjoy um, I just can't believe how powerful I am today I had this kind of getting into the into the actual moment where everything around you just is brighter is sharper is clearer and you just get a glimpse of the power that you truly have and what you can achieve and ideas and inspirations hit you and when that happens you know that anything can truly be achieved how powerful we 
truly are. It's remarkable. I encourage anyone to do this work and now is the perfect time as we all awaken to what is going on behind the scenes, what's truly happening within our lives. Acknowledge the truth of who we are, honour who we are, speaking our truth. Um, break through the lies that we're telling ourselves and others on a daily basis. And I look forward to sharing, sharing more because if this happens in the space of a week or 10 days, you know, imagine what is going to happen um, in the space of uh, six months, a year. When I look at all these kind of uh, notes that I have done in just 10 days on the exercise, action, affirmations, affirmations, every single day affirming who I want, want to become, believing it, creating that belief, because sometimes we can say things but we don't actually believe them. It's putting them, it's, it's putting them into, into practice, saying them every day, saying them creatively. There's a difference of just saying things and okay, reading, reading certain affirmations on my mirror, but to truly believe in them. Um, trusting you, trusting your inner knowing. Uh, that's one thing that you know, it's about all about listening to that inner voice that knows, but we know when we go against it. It could be something as small as people inviting you out and you saying yes, even though you actually do want to stay home and get something and get something done, but you go out anyway. Um, but it's listening to that, listening to your body, what your body wants to eat. Your body tells you when you want to go to the toilet, but you know, if you're not acknowledging who you are, your body's going to tell you in a different way, and that's going to be an illness. Um, knowing your values. There is so much. I wrote, I wrote lots and lots and lots and lots, but I, I loved every second of it. It just, as I was writing it, I, I gained fo the focus and clarity, and it, I could feel the transformations going on, the transformations in thinking and being, because we are our thoughts, we are our words. And um, yeah, I am looking forward to the, the next exercise already, because this is something that you want to continue. You get addicted to it. It's like the drug, but it's the best natural high that you'll ever, ever have. Uh, learning about you, doing that inner work, investing in you, and uh, times, in, times that investment by 40, 40,000, and that's what you uh, achieve by giving yourself that gift, that best gift that you can ever give yourself. And it may start with a book, it may start with, with this, you know, listen to this and stop watching the, the news, put in the good, the clean, the pure, the powerful, the positive. Uh, you, you know, what you put out is what you put in.